Hello, this is Graciela Larismendi Gonzalez, and the aim of this talk is just to introduce myself. I will be briefly focus on my professional background. And well, as I said, I am Graciela. Usually I am called Chela. You can call me Chela if you prefer that. Uh, I studied a bachelor's degree in languages, focusing on English teaching. After that, I decided to enroll in a master's degree at the University of North Texas in the United States. During my master's studies, I conducted research on listening skills. And it was during my master's studies as well that I developed different academic skills, including academic writing, academic reading, academic speaking, and academic listening. And it was an opportunity for me to learn from others, from my professors, from my supervisor, from my colleagues, um, from different students and professors in areas such as the academic writing uh, topics or subjects. When I finished my master's dissertation, it's an academic text that is compulsory to fulfill in order to obtain the master's degree, I returned to my home country, Mexico. And I was working for a couple of years as a teacher of English. And it was during this teaching of English that I realized that I needed to continue developing professionally and learning and trying to find different ways of how to contribute to knowledge and help other students to manage their academic writing skills or their listening skills or reading or speaking skills. But my interest was more on listening at that time. So I enrolled in a PhD program, a doctorate program at the University of Southampton. And I continue researching listening skills. And it was again a great opportunity, a great program because I was involved in different, uh, different experiences, such as, for example, I was reading academic papers about the topic that I was researching on. I was reading scientific literature. I was writing my PhD thesis. That is, uh, of course, an academic text that is, again, compulsory to obtain the PhD degree. I was listening to academics. I was listening to international postgraduate students delivering talks about the research that they were conducting. I was as well speaking in English in the academic context. And while I was delivering my talks about the research that I was conducting to the, uh, and shared this knowledge to the academics uh, and the scientific community in the languages department. And, in, and it was not only for the modern languages department, but also for the global Englishes, which were some of the students were interested in the topics that we were uh, researching and they attended the sessions as well. And during the PhD studies, I had the opportunity to be a mentee. And it's an experience in which you receive constructive feedback about your academic writing skills so that you develop as a writer. And then I was involved in different training courses, some about academic writing, about critical thinking, about English cohesion, about reading scientific papers from a, uh, from a social perspective. It was one of those courses delivered by my supervisor, Dr. Karin Sussman, who is a very uh, knowledgeable uh, scholar. I am very always inspired by her. And yes, it was during this PhD studies that I continue growing and developing many different skills, inclusive, including the networking ability or networking skills, because you can have you can connect with other scholars, not only in the modern languages department, but in the English uh, or global English department. But it was during my PhD studies as well that I participated in a competition about uh, delivering my research in just three minutes. And to be prepared for that competition, I was uh, reading a lot of literature or about or bi bibliography about how to deliver the talk in an effective way. And it was also during these PhD studies that I work in the doctoral college where I could deliver some demonstration or some sessions about MVO, that is a software 
for qualitative data analysis. All these experiences contributed, so I feel a little bit more confident, not only in my research area, but also in the different abilities and skills that I continue developing throughout the whole years of these programs. Then when I finished my PhD thesis and I returned to Mexico, I decided and accepted to participate in a, an, in a postdoctoral fellowship at the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico. It was La Dirección de, de Cooperación e Internacionalización, or the GESI, as it is known, at the UNAM, that gave me the opportunity to be part of this project. And it was in collaboration with the Facultad of Estudios Superiores Acatlán under the supervision of other collaborators. It was an amazing opportunity again, because now part of my commitments were conduct research on academic writing. And academic writing, because many students, professors, or researchers are, need, are in need of developing these academic writing skills for the publication of the research that they are conducting. So I decided to be part of this and I conducted research on academic writing and I was involved in the implementation of an academic writing virtual learning environment in which uh, we designed some activities about academic writing and they were uploaded in an interactive format and they were available for the whole community to access them when they wanted, when they preferred them at the, to work at their own pace and whatever they wanted. They only needed to be part of the UNAM community. It was an experience that I will uh, never forget. But not just that. During this postdoctoral fellowship, I was part of the different um, events or part of the organizers of some events in which we delivered talks about academic writing in English. But also we invited some other speakers as guest speakers from different uh, disciplines. They were sharing their research that they were conducting, but most specifically, their focus was on academic writing, their struggles and the solutions or the strategic solutions that they share with our community so that our community could observe or could watch these films because they were recorded, these videos, and learn from the experiences of others. And it was an amazing opportunity because some of these events were the Seminario de Investigación Digital, Seminario Permanente para la Divulgación de la Investigación, or another organized, it was a colloquio organized by la Licenciatura de Enseñanza del Inglés. In these events, some of them we were the moderator, some of them we were the, the top. The, the guest speakers, and in some of them, we were just as well attending and learning in a reciprocal way from others and sharing uh, knowledge through the negotiation or a uh, collaboration with them. It was amazing. Another opportunity that we had during the postdoctoral fellowship was to participate in an international event uh, organized in the United States. It was on a virtual format, but we were sharing some uh, advances about research on academic writing and in connection with reading. There was another event that was writing across um, writing research across borders in which we were learning a lot from different scholars that are conducting research on academic writing and they were sharing knowledge through a virtual event event in which we learned through the negotiation, through the collaboration, through listening and through having debates with them. It was an, 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 an amazing experience. And it was again an experience that contributed so that we continue growing professionally and continue uh, growing or creating networking skills. It is amazing. You are not going to believe it when you leave it. 
Um, finally, all these experiences, all our professional background, I mean, all my master's studies, my PhD studies, my postdoctoral studies, all of them and the experiences from or with my supervisors, with professors, with other scholars from different fields and with uh, experiences in the different areas have contributed in a positive way. Because in the end, the good news is that at the moment, we have published two papers, and two papers written in English and published in international journals or prestigious inter international journals. And the second good news is that we have submitted other two academic writing papers to international journals about academic writing. And one of them was accepted, and it's in the last stage uh, before being published. And the second one was already submitted and it was accepted for review process. At the moment, we are waiting for the constructive feedback from the reviewers and hopefully we will have good news soon. And we will continue growing because we also learn from the reviewers and from the constructive feedback that we receive from others. We also learn from the experiences of the mentors, the mentees, the students, and all this uh, research that we have been conducted. And I could say that I feel a little bit more confident and I would like to share all this knowledge with you because possibly you are experiencing uh, some situations that are not so easy for some of us. So if you would like to hear more about some experiences, suggestions, strategies about academic writing, academic reading, academic listening, academic speaking, academic research skills, just click the thumbs up and I will be happy to continue uh, sharing this type of resources for you. They are free for you. You just need to write some comments about the, co the topics that you are more interested in, and I will try to, to design some resources for you. Thank you very much. And I hope that you find it useful and that you continue learning and developing as an academic and also in all the academic skills that you need to develop in this scientific uh, context. Thank you very much.